uh, I believe. But we'll have to see. Numbers going me, Sword Fighter. Uh, and yeah, it looks like we're going right into the match. This is a real me, Sword Fighter, not fake. Yeah, the Numbers Sword Fighter, uh, it's, you know, I normally do not enjoy watching me, Sword Fighter, but I think Numbers has such like a quirkiness to it that it's pretty entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's, um, Numbers really just opts to play a super patient game. A lot with the chakras and a lot with that down tilt. Me Swordfire has an amazing down tilt, something not a lot of people would know because people don't really know the Mii's for their grounded right. normals. Ooh. But what's a grounded normal? What's an up B to a Rob Dare? What is a god to a non-believer? True. <laughs> Rob's Dare definitely making this character look a lot weaker with the recovery. Able to even outspace those giant, giant disjoints. Ooh, Numbers was looking for a low recovery, but Zamba going high put Numbers in a pretty sticky situation, but able to make it back. Zamba going high again. Me Sword Fighter doesn't have the best uh, when it comes to catching those high recoveries. He does have the uh, the up air that you know is a kill move. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but it's slow, and you got to read exactly where Rob is. And Rob's a character that can be in many places when going high. Right, so, it's certainly no, you know, Aegis up air where it covers like three character lengths exactly, in space. Yeah. There we go. John Numbers finally on the board, getting the up smash to catch the arm rotor and lag. You know, Numbers, um, if you ever talk to him, he's a very passionate Rob hater. Not a fan <laughs> of this character, but because of his uh, passionate distaste for Rob, he does learn a lot of counterplay, you know. He's one of the best people I've ever seen at playing around the gyro. And in addition, you know, Zamba's not going to pull out any unique tricks, you know, or, like, show something that he hasn't seen before. Spider's a powerful motivator. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Ooh, I think that was a shield poke on that uh, down air. Yeah, that, that looked really, really strong on the shield. wonder if we're going to see that come out more. John Numbers at a really high percent. Uh, most stray things, if not putting John Numbers in a bad situation, could kill from Zamba. But Zamba at a fairly high percentage himself. John Numbers doing a great job of surviving. Uh, good DI on that Nair. I actually don't know how heavy Me Sword Fighter is, but heavy enough to live to 211. Finally, Zamba taking that second stock. Uh, with 71 to show for it. Yeah, Zombo was really creative on that last stock. Did a laser up to bait out the reflector and then punish with the gyro and at 200 the gyro is going to kill. And Ooh, all sometimes right. well, you live to 200. Sometimes you get soft naired at 60 on ledge. Such is life. And you know, as much as I uh, understand the me Swordfire switch because you know you've lost so much with uh, We Fit Trainer, you feel like you do need something. It's hard for me to imagine how me Sword Fighter just the tier difference between these characters right. seems so apparent in the gameplay. Like, I feel like Numbers just really needs to play near perfect to make this character work. All right, running it right back. I really like uh, that sequence. Zamba low percent throwing John Numbers into the direction of the gyro. Numbers not able to find anything with that tornado. Typically a somewhat difficult move to deal with just because it's so big, so active, and leads to so much. Okay, and now this is this is where Rob can start snowballing once you get on ledge. Numbers fighting back though, doing a rising fair. That can be so risky if your jump gets caught. Mm -hmm. It's super even percents now. The swordsman just not able to do much against all this pressure that Zamba is laying down. And, you know, Zamba, as we've seen so far, is is a much more pressure-focused Rob and is able to really extend his punish game. And yeah. we saw there, Zamba's able to get that first stock. Oh, no. I was going to talk about how he got the first stock, but it looks like he's about to get the second. <laughs> no. But um, in that first stock right there, it was such a tragic position for numbers because it was at that distance where down smash covers literally every option you don't tech you get down smashed you neutral get up back roll or forward roll but when you're at the ledge all of those get covered by down smash so it's just truly nothing you could really do right there and now 171 
This is just, you do not have the luxury of letting Rob live to 171, especially as me, Sword Fighter. Oh, that would have been so tragic. Number's not able to, you know, he had to go back to ledge because, uh, because of the, uh, the uppy that he had. I think a uh, pure slash up B might have been able to cover that higher recovery. But now John Numbers in disadvantage once again, fighting his way off the ledge, getting a little fair string of his own. Okay, yeah, some signs of life right now reading um, Zama's positioning with projectiles. The chakras are so, or chakram? I'm not sure. I think it's chakram. Chakram. Chakram are so fast at covering space. Ooh, nice uh, gyro movement. But yeah, no, I think uh, Chakram in general, I think can be pretty good in this matchup because it can cover just so many angles and is really one of the more versatile uh, projectiles. Oh. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Uh, John had the, uh, the Cyclone, which typically can lead to so much, but uh, tried to read a defensive option from Zamba and the, um, the, the hesitation just, just got him killed. Oh, good reflection right there. I think uh, Zamba did that laser, expecting another tornado because Numbers was throwing out so much. I think Numbers was aware of that and just waited for Zamba to press something. Mm -hmm. And now 172. If you can close this out right now, it'll be close. But now you're at 160 on ledge, or not 50 on ledge. <laughs> and uh, I have to imagine that uh, the reflector is one of the reasons that John Number picked this character. Yeah, and this is definitely significantly closer, but you can... Uh, we saw numbers die the last stock around this percent, so you gotta be so careful. Game back to center stage right here is huge. Ooh, and getting that opening is even bigger. Yeah. Nice. Using the Chakram to catch the jump out of shield. Yeah, no, absolutely not un uh, not impossible, but definitely scary against a player like Zamba. The down B actually creating a little bit of like a Mario Cave situation there where Zamba was turned around, didn't realize it. Yeah, it has that same functionality, I believe. Oh, okay. Numbers needs to get back from this spot. Now no jump. Good of B, aggressive. Yeah, choosing to not deal with being on ledge against against Rob at that percentage. Back air though, definitely wow. gonna be taking oh. that. And the me sword fighter is real. Yeah, who, I mean, after that first game, I, I felt like it was just going to be the Zomba show, and mm -hmm. it was looking like that, and then Numbers really found something in this last stock. I mean, he was at like 55 when Zomba had two, and then only managed to take 50 more before mm -hmm. doing 150 to Zomba and taking that game. And that's got to be like some momentum, you know, to make a comeback like that game two. It, you got to be feeling yourself here, John. And like you were saying, this, those reflectors were starting to come out much, much more that second game. Yeah, no, it was great in stopping a lot of Zomba's pressure, especially with the laser, uh, really just turning the momentum back into John's favor. And speaking of momentum in John's favor, 85% just finally now answered, uh, putting the no jump. How, you get, how, how does the me swordsman get down? Ooh, good get up attack, I think. Um, Rob, the way you're going to kill right there is getting a soft nair on ledge, and so numbers waited because I feel like it was like 10 out of 10 times Zamba goes for the kill right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice. I think that's a true confirm. I mean, you, if you told... I, <laughs> it's me, Sword Fighter, so I'll believe it. I'll, I'll believe, believe it. <laughs> I, I've never once seen it, but I, I trust that it's true from numbers. He, I feel like he wouldn't go for it if it wasn't. But honestly, even if it wasn't, you can call out Rob like doing a landing there if you get there really quickly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and now you see the chakra. slow one. That slow one is one of the like most creative moves in the game. I kind of wish it was on a more common character. Yeah. There we go. Up throw on the platform. Going to be taking Numbers' first stock. Yeah, and that's that's not good if you're Numbers, because that was kind of just a stock given away, you know? Zama mm -hmm. didn't really have to do anything to get that. And when you were having a lead like that, you can't really afford to just give away stocks. You can totally stomp your momentum. Yeah, no, we saw in the beginning of this game, the momentum was absolutely heavily in Numbers' favor. But now we're looking at an even game once again. Zamba now with a tech chase scenario. 
And that could have been so scary from that Nair. Zamba, I believe, trying to read a jump or, like, DI in. And able to get away. Wow, that is strong. Yeah, no, I I honestly think if, if Zamba takes this next stock first, I think that could very well potentially spell the end of the game. But looking for John Numbers right now to prove me wrong, keep that momentum that he had in the beginning of this game and the end of last game, and really just... Show me that Me Sword Fighter is a real character. Yeah, make make us a believer, Numbers. I will say, last game he was down like 50% on the last stock and was able to bring it back. So we can get a kill like right here. Oh, does Me Sword? No. I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that that is a no on kill throws. But you know, that was actually so unfortunate earlier. John Numbers had the Cyclone, but I think got clipped by a very late hit of Nair. Wasn't able to confirm, but the F-Tilt gonna be doing it. As if I had to lay off again at ledge against Zamba. Zamba is so oppressive at ledge. Finally finding his way out with the fair. Yeah, needed that fair, but look, you're right back where you were now on ledge. Great Great parry. Trading projectiles right now. Uh oh. 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 Oh no 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 no. You hate to see it. <sighs> okay. This, All right. This I feel like is Numbers' last chance to make something happen. Okay. Numbers is very good at bashing. Yeah. Oh. There what we a go. Beautiful the gyro. The gyro whiff animation gonna be getting Zamba caught by that cyclone. Okay, and now you can die right here. Oh, numbers able to react to that DI so well. And I feel like Zamba's scared to throw projectiles right now because of how on point the reflections have been. Mm -hmm. Have to almost killing. This is so, so, so close. That gyro was actually at a pretty good angle after the reflection. No. Oh. Okay. Numbers. I was gonna say not like this. So on point with that DI. <gasps> that cyclone ran out. Oh that no. That could have been John Numbers' game. And now you're on ledge at 193. Oh, that's gonna be that it. is brutal. Oh. So close. And that nair right there just covers. I mean, almost everything. You know, it covers the air with the upward hitbox. But then if Numbers Neutral get up, it also could have covered him coming down. So beautifully mm -hmm. placed by Zamba right there, knowing that 200% the nair can kill from jump as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saw actually Numbers started doing a down air from the jump, and it, uh, mm -hmm. it's but okay. yeah, no, I mean, me Sword Fighter down air for being the Sword Fighter, you know, not very disjointed. He kind of <laughs> brings it into himself. It's it's like he does everything in his power to make it not a disjointed. <laughs> it's like I, I want one boxing move, but um, 